In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'll show you two different ways in which you can add to the fonts available to you when you're working with titles in PowerDirector. Let's assume we're editing this particular title on top of this particular video. And I can click and double click and get into my title designer. If I want to change the font family, I can select all the characters and then click on the left side under the font paragraph. And if I click the down arrow, I will see all of the fonts available to me in my copy of Microsoft Windows. So every one I have is available. But what if I'd like to try a different kind of font and I go through my list and up and down and I, I try to find something that fits and I don't have something that quite works. There are two ways to add fonts. We'll show you both ways in this tutorial. The easiest way to do that is open your copy of Windows and click on the window icon and then click on the search area and the search type in the word font. That will open up a whole bunch of options you have and you can click on the fonts and that will open up your font folder. In order to add another font to the folder, all you need to do is drag from wherever the font's located into the folder. If you have third-party fonts that you design or get off the internet, that's an excellent way to do that. Now that I have my font file open in File Explorer in Windows, I'm going to open another window, and I have one open here. I'll drag it on the recording screen, and this is the, the directory that contains a new font. It's TTF, which means true type font. In order to install it, all I need to do is find it on my hard drive or flash drive or wherever I've stored it, and then drag it over and let go. It will immediately copy that font right to the list. So now I have that font available if I want to use it in CyberLink PowerDirector. Now, if you're a PowerDirector subscriber, you have a second option available. So what I'm going to do is close these windows and we're going to open a window to the CyberLink Application Manager. When you launch the Application Manager, you're going to find that you have the My Programs as your default, but if you look down on the left side, you will have a category called Fonts. I'm going to click on that. It will check for updates to the fonts that are available and then it will display all the fonts. You notice we have multiple languages here in CyberLink PowerDirector. Because they're located in Asia, you're going to see some Chinese and Japanese characters as well as English. But if you find one you like, let's take one uh, that we could recognize perhaps here. Let's take the Cherry Bomb one and click on Install. I have to answer yes to update. And then in a few moments, we're going to find that it's already installed. Actually, what it does is it does the same activity we did before by dragging and dropping a file into the font folder. It does that automatically. I discovered that if I'm in the title designer when I install a font, the title designer won't recognize it. All I have to do is get out of the title designer. I'll click on OK and then reload it. I don't have to reload PowerDirector. So if I click on my options in the left panel, let's see if we have our Cherry Bomb 1. They're alphabetical. And here is our new font available in PowerDirector. Another tip to remember is that whether you install the font manually, as we did in the first example, or through PowerDirector, when you have the font, it's installed in your copy of Windows. It's accessible to any Windows program at all that you have on your system. And to uninstall a font, all you have to do is go into the font file in your copy of Windows and then either delete it or move it out of that folder somewhere else. And that will reduce the number of fonts you have available for any application in Windows.